Welcome to Back to the Root, I'm Richard Agbayano. Uh, today we're going to talk about the different uh, categories of priests that we have uh, in Vodou community. Uh, you know, when we're talking about Vodou and you come to Benin, we have four different types of priests and they are specialized in different domain. Their works are not the same. The first category of priest that we have is the Yedonuto. When you hear Yedonuto, we mean readers. Ye means spirit, shade. So Yedonuto is someone who is capable uh, of communicating with spirit. Somebody who can see spirit or has a way, a technique to communicate with somebody's spirit. In that category of priest, we have the Ifa priest that is known in Benin as Bukono or Babalao. Uh, Bukono when you speak in Fon and Babalao when you speak in um, Yoruba or Nango. Uh, that is in Benin context. Apart from the Ifa priest, I mean the Bokono or the Babalao, we have the mirror readers or the water readers and they are known as Tokanto. The mirror reader is somebody who do divination by using a mirror. He watch, uh, I mean he look into the mirror to read the person's destiny. Apart from the mirror reader or the water reader, we have also people who use uh, sand, kokanto, the sand readers. They just use the sand and then do the definition. Uh, sometimes the style is different. Some people can draw line or signs like if a signs on the ground to do the divination. Others can just measure the sand that they have in their hand. Apart from that, we have the reading uh, by using a bottle, a spiritual bottle uh, that they use to do divination. We also have people who can read your palm. They just look at the lines that you have in your palm and then tell you about everything related to your life. We also have another type of divination, which is by uh, another a, a spirit that they use. We call it Age. Age is like a spirit who can talk to human beings uh, as if they were in uh, our life here. Like you and I are talking to each other, uh, like I'm talking to you and you can hear my voice. There is a spirit like that, that we call a gay, who can talk to you and you will hear. The reader will hear as well as the client and they do divination. So that is the first category of priests that we have. Apart from the readers, we have now the category of, uh, of Voduno. When we say Voduno, we are talking about somebody who is selected in a family or selected by a community to take care of a deity or a divinity uh, that has been worshipped since our forefathers' time. He is not the one who set up the temple. He doesn't. He does not even know how the temple was built. But he is selected by Ifa uh, with consent, of course, of the whole family or the whole community to be the chief of that temple. So he is like the guardian of the temple and whatever you want to do in that divinity's temple, you have to go to the Voduno. In that trend, we can talk about uh, the Honugan. When we say Honugan, it is 
a person selected uh, by the community or by a family to take care of a temple in which we have many, I mean, we have several deities. Like we can have a temple in which you have uh, Hebioso, Gu, Loko. You have a lot of stuff in the same temple and then he's the one uh, selected to take care of that temple. Another category that we have is the category of Runo. When we say Runo, we are talking about somebody who owns a spiritual technology. Like we have a robot or we create machine for different purposes. So a Runo is not dealing with a deity that is set up since our forefathers' time. It is a tool that he discovered himself by traveling all around the world, maybe by going to different communities or uh, a spirit that he gained from a friend. You see, it is like you have money and you buy a, a, a type of car for a given purpose. So the Huno is not dealing with natural forces. The Huno is not dealing with deities that are revealed by Ifa. The Huno is not dealing with deities, with spirits that are directly connected to our existence. He is just using some, some machines that he used for different purposes. In uh, the field of uh, Huno, we can cite the Trump priest, we can talk about the Gambada priest, we can talk about Koku, Dagli. There are so many spirits that people may think they are Vodun, they are uh, natural forces, they are from our forefathers, no. So there are things that uh, when we're talking about Huno, Everybody can stand up and decide to become a Runo. If you say, okay, I like Tron, I would like to have Tron in my house for protection against witchcraft or this. The, when you go to specialists, they can give it to you and you will become a Tron Runo. Since you have the deity in your house that you take care of, that you do libation for, that you feed in the right way, then you are Runo. And people can come to you to ask for you to pray for them. I mean, uh, they can ask you for services that you will confide to the spirit. So you are Huno. But as far as Voduno is concerned, you cannot make the will to become a Voduno. You cannot decide to become a damp priest or to become a Hebioso priest or to become a Sapata priest. You cannot. You have to come with that is directly connected to your origin, to your uh, existence, to who you are spiritually. So one cannot decide to take Sapata because Sapata is a strong deity. I just want to have Sapata uh, because I need more pro protection. No, it will want to work and it will even ruin your life. Now, apart from the category of Runo, we have the fourth category, which is the one of uh, Amawato. The Amawato can be taken as a traditional healer. Uh, we talk about uh, traditional doctors. They are herbalists. That's the word I was looking for. The Amawato is an herbalist. It is someone who knows a lot about uh, the secret of plants. Who can add this plant to another in order to cure different diseases like diabetes, uh, malaria, different stuff. It's like the medicine that we had. Uh, is like we are sick and we go to the hospital to see the doctor. The herbalists are exactly the same. They do not refer to any animal sacrifices to cure their patients. They do not need any spirit, any deity 
uh, in their work. But the problem is that the Amawata can also uh, own some tools, some spiritual technology that he used for his own protection or in some cases, which make confusion between Runo and Amawata because the Amawata can own some uh, Vodumbo. Vodumbo, which means uh, uh, Runo's spirit, because the Vodumbo are the spirits that are not natural forces, the spirit that we created ourselves, uh, the spirit that we buy uh, from other people or from other regions, just because we notice they, they are powerful and we use them for our protection. So the Amawata also can own those stuffs. So the Huno and the Amawata are sometimes confused. Most of the Huno are Amawata because when you have uh, a spirit like Tron or like Gambada and uh, people will start coming to you asking for services and by doing that you are obliged to learn more about herbs. So, dear friends, those are the, three, uh, the four categories of priests that we have in Vodou community. So, their roles are totally different. If you have a problem, you have to know who to go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. Let's see you next time for a new video.